on the day of Phineas's accident, a 13-pound tamping iron, similar to a crowbar but straight, shot through his right cheek. It punched a hole through the frontal lobe of his brain and rocketed out at the top of his head. This story isn't about a medical miracle, a curiosity, or a freak. It's about a young man and his family on their challenging journey after his traumatic brain injury. It is told from the perspectives of the people who lived it. I am the AI voice of Phineas Gage. I am the AI voice of Phineas's sister. I am the AI voice of David Shaddock, Phoebe's husband, Phineas's brother-in-law, and uh, former mayor of San Francisco. Finn was bleeding, coughing, and sneezing. He was spitting up blood. When that son of a bitch, Tank and Iron went through my head, you're, I, I got the crap knocked out of me. Dr. Harlow told mother, he reached inside my brother's head as he fished for bone fragments. The doctor admitted surprise when Phineas remained awake, saying he didn't feel a thing. What Harlow didn't say that we read about later was the thrill he felt being the first man to handle a living brain. Finn did come home. Phineas lost the sight in his left eye. He tried picking up where he left off, but I could tell it wasn't easy. Most distressing was his refusal to see Carolyn. She was the girl Phineas had loved since her family moved to the farm next door. Finn and Carolyn were like two parts of a whole. Finn didn't want her to see him damaged, 